And face to face with the younger me All of the mistakes All of the heartbreak Here's what I do differently everybody um we're nearing the end of month nine here and about to enter month 10 of the world race with me you guys this is crazy my team will be and the rest of my squad will be headed to nicaragua next month to do ministry so that's gonna be great central america has been wonderful so far honduras is beautiful and green and mountainous but also very warm and uh yeah but it's been great to be reimmersed um, in the Spanish language. I studied it for about five years, so it's fun to try and practice pieces here and there and things that are coming back slowly but surely. Um, so it's been great to be able to communicate with people a little bit here um, and understand pieces of what they're saying. So that's been a real blessing. This month has been one that's been just a little different for us. It started out with parent vision trip the first week of the month where um, people's parents could come down to do ministry with them if they are able. And so our team wasn't all together that first week. Um, and then I got chicken goonya. Whoa, I survived chicken goonya, everyone. Thanks for all your prayers. But I'm healthy. The Lord has healed me. He heard all your prayers. Um, so I was separated from my team for that week while they were still off traveling around the country um, looking for ministry contacts. And then we are finally reunited this week in northern Honduras up on the coast um, in a little town called El Porvenir by a bigger town called La Ceiba. So it's been a whirlwind of a month and we're finally all back together and it feels great. Um, the biggest thing I've seen this month is just the Lord's faithfulness and his provision for our team. We started the month um, by throwing out this crazy idea that because we're unsung heroes, it means that we are just looking around the country to find new ministry contacts and to see what the Lord is doing through different ministries around the country and see if they potentially want to partner with the world race or adventures and missions in the future and have teams come down and help them. And so we threw out this idea that, hey, let's not use the internet to look up contacts or research what ministries are in this country and to not use the internet to look up places to stay or different hostels and just trust the Lord for everything. And wow, it's been nothing but answered prayer. The Lord has blessed us abundantly this month and taken care of our every need, never left us out to dry, always having a place to stay, always having multiple lists of different contacts to give a call or email, and then being able to travel and see these contacts, um, which I got to do the first week and this week, but not the middle week, um, has just been great to see how many people are alive and thriving here doing kingdom work for the Lord. Um, we were just able to visit a school, an orphanage, and trade school yesterday um, that the Lord has been blessing for 15 years. And it's just really cool to see it flourishing and see um, the children who are being ministered to through it. And just the couple, David um, and his wife, are just awesome. So little things like that have been great. We've always had a home to stay and never needed to stay in a hostel. And um, trust has just been huge this month. And God has taken care of us. 
We've always had a safe place to sleep. We've mm -hmm. always had contacts to reach out to. And um, we've finally been able to be all back together as a team um, to spend some time together, hanging out and getting to know each other and just having fun together. Um, so definitely the words that I have seen in action this month and seen are God's crazy faithfulness and his provision um, through everything and just following the spirit as he goes and not relying on ourselves and Internet. Um, so it's been great. So a lot can happen if you just let go and trust the spirit and really just live by faith every day um, is what we've had to do this month, especially. But it's something we should be doing every month and every day of our lives that I've come to realize. So I challenge myself in that and I challenge you guys in that by faith. What does that really look like? What does that really mean? Trust the Lord. It's going to be great. But um, beyond that, Nicaragua is coming and then Costa and I'll be home July 28th. Two months from tomorrow. Crazy. But I'm not thinking about that because I'm excited to eat up every single day of the rest of Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica and leave each day by faith. So I love you guys. I'm praying for you. As always, feel free to contact me with anything you want. Questions, comments, whatever. I'm here. I love you guys. Bye. The things of earth are teeming in the light of your glory and grace I'll set the sights upon heaven I'm fixing my eyes on you oh.